Hello viewers. In this video, we are going to write a script to scrape one of a developer's favorite websites, Stack Overflow. This tutorial is in two parts. In this video, we will write a script to scrape questions from Stack Overflow. In the next, we will create a dataset from the scrape data. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so that you do not miss out on any of our videos. Let's see a demo of the script. We get a list of dictionaries containing the scrape data. Each dictionary has four keys. The question, the number of views, the number of answers, and the number of votes. Let's start coding. First, we need to install some dependencies for this project. We will need two libraries. The requests and beautiful soup library. We will use the request library for getting the HTML of the page and beautiful soup to extract the desired information. Let's run the pip command. Your output may look different from mine, since I already have it installed. Before we start writing the script, let's first investigate the site and see where we can extract the desired information. Let's go to stackoverflow.com. Then let's navigate to the questions page. On the questions page, we are presented with the first 50 newest questions. Let's navigate to the next page and study how the URL and the address bar is structured. The URL has two parameters, tab and page. So if we want to navigate to the first page, we just change the page parameters value to one. So, this is how we will build our URL to scrape the questions on different pages. Let's also study how each question section is structured. We need to inspect the HTML structure by right-clicking on the question section and clicking on Inspect. This opens the Dev Tools. Each question section is inside a div with a class, Question Summary. To find the question text, we need to look inside a link element with the class name, question hyperlink. To find the number of votes, we need to look inside a strong element inside a span element with the class name, vote count post. We can also find the number of answers inside a strong element, which is nested within a div element with the class name, status. Finally, to get the number of views, we need to look inside a div element with the class name, views. We now have all we need to write the script. Let's first create our imports, beautiful soup and requests. Let's create two constants for our script. URL will be the page we want to scrape, which is the questions page of Stack Overflow. Then we create a page limit constant which refers to the number of pages we want to scrape questions from. For this script, we will create three functions. The build URL function will be used to configure the path to the questions page. It takes in the base URL, the tab we would like to scrape, and the page number. Let's leave it blank for now. We need another function which we will call, scrape page. This function is responsible for scraping a single page. It takes in a single parameter which is the page we want to scrape. Then we define another function, scrape. This function will use the scrape page function to scrape multiple pages.
This function will be called when our script runs. Let's populate the build URL function. We are going to use an F string to form the URL using the parameters. For example, the function will return a string that looks like this. Let's also write the scrape page function. We first use the request library to get the stack overflow page and store the response in a variable. We call the build URL function and pass it into the get method of the requests library. We passed in the page parameter to configure the URL. Next, we create a list variable which will store the scraped questions from Stack Overflow. We call this, page questions. Let's also create the beautiful soup object. This will allow us to scrape information from the HTTP response. We pass in two objects. First is response.txt, which contains the HTML code of the page. Second, is the parser to use. We will use the HTML parser. To get the HTML code for each question section, we call the find all method on the soup object. We want to get all divs with a class name question summary. The question summary variable now contains a list of markup which we can iterate through. Inside a for loop, we need to get the question text, the vote count, the answer count, and the view count from each section. To get the question text, we call summary.find and pass in the class name question hyperlink. We want to get the text not the HTML markup so we use the text property. To get the number of votes, we find an element with the class name vote count post. Then we also need to find the strong element in the return markup. We again use the text property to get the number of votes. Let's get the number of answers also. For the number of answers, we need to look inside an element with class name status. We also need to get the text from the strong element. To get the number of views for a question, we need to look inside an element with class name views. Calling the text property gives a string with the word view attached to the number. To get only the number, we call the split method on the text. This method returns a list. We just need the first element. We now have all the data we need. We will then create a dictionary out of the scrape data then append it to the page questions list. Finally, we return the page questions list. Let's now write the code for the scrape function. We first create a variable which will hold all the questions scraped from each page. Let's now create a for loop. We will iterate through a range from 1 to the page limit plus 1. This will produce the desired page numbers.
We then call the scrape page function and pass in the i variable which represents the page number we want to scrape. We assign the result to a variable which we will call page questions. We then append the page questions list to the questions list. Notice that we use the extend instead of the append method. This is because we want to add a list to another list. Outside the for loop, we return the questions list. Let's finally test the script out. It seems we've made a few typos. Let's correct them. With all errors fixed, we get a list of scraped questions. But it's quite difficult to read. To make the output look more readable, we can use the pprint module to pretty print it. Let's import that. Now instead of using the normal print function, we replace it with pprint. Let's run the script again. This produces a much nicer output. Let's scrape more pages by changing the value of the page limit variable to 3. This scrapes questions from the first page to the third page. There you go. You have successfully scraped Stack Overflow. In this video, we have seen how to scrape Stack Overflow using Beautiful Soup. In the next video, we will export the extracted data to create a dataset. Please subscribe and enable notifications to get notified when new videos arrive. This has been Code with Flash. Thanks for watching.